G'day guys and girls, Billy here from uh, Gumbuyong West Australia, everyone. So I, I thought I'd do a uh, video today on uh, polishing my boots guys. Um, so, and also opening a new pair of uh, boots that I've just ordered off the internet. They've taken about probably ages to get here guys, lost in the mail, but I finally got them. And just a, just a quick video on uh, my brushes, what I find out local rubbish dumps, um, and a few nice old uh, shoe polishing boxes, what I've uh, found also at rubbish dumps, guys. Nothing special, but just beautiful old uh, relics of the past, guys. You don't really see too many of these. Obviously, there's much more beautiful shoe polishing boxes around, but uh, just uh, beautiful memories, childhood memories, guys. Seeing the old shoe box polishes in the old Dumby Young Club. Uh, we're where the men back in the old days would have to polish their boots before they entered the club premises. You know, everything's changed these days, guys. No one really takes any pride and care or respect. Um, but back when I was a kid, guys, like I say, my dad used to manage the Dumble Young District Club. It was a members only club. And uh, prior to entry to the club back in those days, the men had to polish to make sure their boots were nice and clean and polished. I'm also ex-army guys um, and also ex-navy but uh, more fonder memories um, in the army. I joined the army when I was 17 and obviously um, I learned how to polish my boots and shoes when I was in the army and uh, my dad's ex-military uh, as well. <laughs> Vietnam veteran guys, nothing spectacular, um, but 26 years in the military and my mum was obsessed with polishing uh, boots and shoes as well, so also a lot of childhood memories of my mum polishing my dad's shoes on Anzac Day or prior to Anzac Day, um, the, a veterans day in Australia and uh, yeah it just means a lot to me guys to take, you know, have a bit of uh, self-respect I always make sure that my boots are polished when I'm visiting other towns um, and even my work boots guys so these are the boots I wear basically every day they're Ariat boots um, just a really good good brand guys I'm really impressed with them as you can see they're pretty well worn uh, you can see that but the, the heels pretty well worn on that one and this heel is totally gone basically so, and this is, I think, uh, just the same pair of uh, Ariat boots. Um, I forget what brand it is. But anyway, guys, and also I love RM Williams boots. They're very, very expensive um, boots. I've had these before, but I honestly personally think that, that Ariat are just as good as the RM Williams. RM Williams is an Australian uh, boot company, and Ariat is an American one. But I've only worn the only wear the um, R.E. Williams for special occasions, so I've uh, probably only worn them probably three or four times, guys. I've had these for about three or four years, but just for special occasions, guys. And also, I uh, come across a lot of beautiful old brushes at rubbish dumps, guys. So just a, a heap of beautiful old brushes what I've found recently, and also this nice little box. And uh, yeah, just beautiful old brushes. I don't know why I uh, keep them. Once again, probably just childhood memories, memories of my being in the military. All different kinds of beautiful brushes. This one's even got a name on it. That one there, that's a pretty old one. Nugget shoe polish. They're common guys, they're not worth any money, but just more sentimental value, childhood memories, memories of the military. And uh, here's a nice one, Kiwi, just a Kiwi boot polish one, Kiwi. So I'm no expert uh, guys and girls in polishing my boots, but I do make sure, you know, I look after them. So basically, I'm going to Wagen tomorrow to do a bit of shopping. We're going to be doing a live video tomorrow. And as I say, I always polish my boots probably about twice a week. Usually on uh, 
uh, Sundays and Thursdays. And we'll show you these shoe boxes in a minute, guys. And this is just my shoe polishing uh, kit. Nothing special, just an old Esky, what I've repurposed into a shoe polishing. Once again, I've got rags, I've got a stocking. Stockings are really good for uh, polishing your boots. Just rag. A bit of dubbin, I don't really use that at all. The natural dubbin for leather boots. And just heaps of heaps more brushes, guys. I've got heaps and heaps of old brushes. I'll, I'll never ever use them. I'll probably end up back out the rubbish ship one day. Um, and I always have a nice shoe brush just at the entrance to my house for cleaning my boots if I, um, you know, to kind of I get dirt on the bottom like you saw on these ones. So they're always kind of dirty, but I make sure I don't wear them inside the house if they're dirty guys. So I always take my boots off before I go inside my house. And uh, just like I say, nice little selection of shoe polish. I always have a good supply of uh, Kiwi shoe polish. I've got one black here, and the tan, and just light tan. But I always use the uh, the uh, dark tan. So dark tan we'll be using today. As I say, guys, um, I have got fond memories of sitting down polishing my boots in the in the uh, army. The smell of the shoe polish and just trying to spit polish to make them beautiful and shiny. I have got my original spit polish boots still. So this brush we're going to use last, and this brush here, this type of brush we're going to use just to apply the actual shoe polish to the to the boots. Before I start guys, these ones here are a size 12 American, so I'm hoping that they're going to fit. They cost me about 320 Australian dollars. So if they don't fit guys, I'm not going to be happy. I rang up and they said that size 12, I'm actually a size 11 Australian, and they, but when I rang up they said that size 12 is, size 12 American is size 11 Australian. So I, I desperately hope that they fit guys, so we'll do a live fitting as well. So basically just stick my arm in my boot like this and well, that's a be four. I'll be four guys. It's not gonna be spectacular. Also guys, usually what I do do is apply the shoe polish the night before and leave the polish on the shoe overnight, okay? That's a really, really good way of, of uh, applying your uh, shoe polish to your boots. If you leave it overnight and then you buff it off with a nice brush like this, the boot will come up a lot more shinier, okay? But today we're just going to do it straight away and after the end of the video I'll put another layer of shoe polish on and then tomorrow morning I'll buff it off again. So I'm doing a live video tomorrow in uh, the town of Wage in West Australia. I'm a little bit nervous guys. We're doing a live video at the Wage and Karen Share, a local community op shop. And that op shop supports uh, the local aged care where my mum was for about 15 years, Waratah Lodge. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean it helps the Salvation Army, it's an amazing shop guys, you'll see some bargains, it's nothing, it's, you know, I think it's, it's definitely the highlight of my week visiting the Wage and Care and Chair. So basically everything I get, you know, what I wear is from the Asian Care and Share, this jumper is, just an old work jumper, 50 cents. So basically everything costs, you know, most products cost around 50 cents, guys. Really, really cheap. And you can buy some beautiful old vintage antique stuff. Paintings for, you know, a couple of dollars, beautiful paintings. Artwork. 
uh, everything, household, kitchen, you know, cutlery, crockery. You know, a lot of stuff like old wedding gifts, what people get and they don't really like and it gets put, be put in the cupboard for 30 years, then when those people pass away, those wedding gifts end up at the wage and care and share. Everything, all beds, single beds and uh, pots and pans. Beautiful cast iron, uh, cast iron uh, pans sometimes. You get some amazing bargains, everyone. I, so I go there twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. So usually with the shoe polish guys, you know, I just put a nice thick layer. And these are my work boots. So they look nice in the morning, but by 12 o'clock they're completely covered in dust and all scratched and everything again because I'm scrapping, scrapping metal. You might be able to see a bit of scrap to the, in the video camera. So I do try and look presentable guys. I try and wear a decent, nice shirt when I go into waging. And once again, the shirts I wear are from Care and Share. So I don't go, I don't buy nothing anymore, guys and girls. I mean, these pants that I've got on, I, they're really good hard yakka pants. What I actually bought off the internet years ago, but they, they've got everything like that. Hard yakka, R.M. Williams, uh, Levi's. So both undies, socks, underwear, beanies. This beanie, what I'm wearing, is a dumpster fine. I absolutely love it, guys and girls. A beautiful woolen wool beanie. It's actually summer right now, but it's really quite cool, about 20 degrees Celsius. I just love wearing a beanie. <clears throat> so nice and thick, guys. I don't really normally put it on this thick. It's just that I'm talking to you. If you really want nice shiny shoes, if you want to have nice shiny shoes, as I say, leave the polish on overnight. And a really way to make really good way to make your shoes nice and shiny is using a stocking. So you buff it off with a brush first and then you use a stocking. But you know, you probably need probably about three or four stockings to get a good handful, a good grip. So yeah, they sell stockings at the care and share actually bought them from Care and Share before, especially for my boots. Everything, guys. So you'll see it all tomorrow. Books, thousands of books, beautiful antique books. So it's just gone six o'clock in the evening right now, guys and girls. I thought I'd make this video. And another hour or so I'll lock up my chickens. Put my rooster to bed. So that's one side of the boot, guys. Dirty. It's not going to be like a beautiful, shiny boot, guys. It's not going to be like, you know, like what a Hollywood celebrity would wear. It's just going to be a, a nice, clean boot with a little bit of shine on it. And these tins of our shoe polish cost me about five dollars each, pretty expensive. One tin will last me probably about three weeks. I do find them at rubbish dumps as well. I find a lot of good tins. Like I say, most of these brushes are all rubbish dump finds. So there's three or four different sections at the care and share guys. There's a, uh, a clothing section, there's a uh, household section, or kitchen section, there's a wood section for uh, firewood and stuff. Uh, there's a beautiful library.
the Cairn Shed's located in an old, an old nunnery or an old convent. And I used to go to scouts in the same building, guys. In the same building where Cairn Shed is, I used to be a scout there. Usually I'd leave that to sit overnight, but anyway, so what we'll do now is let that dry for a little bit. Um, I'll just give these boots a quick. I won't put any polish on these guys, just give them a bit of a clean. Beautiful Arian Williams boots. These are Arian Williams stockyard, so stockyard boots. sit in my little st um, storage box for probably another six months until I wear them again. I never go anywhere special guys. Um, I'm just happy by myself doing what I do. Okay, so that's done. show you these beautiful boxes just rubbish sump pines guys so the man would put their boot up here and and maybe maybe someone would sit be, sit here right here and polish the boot for the man or maybe he'd just bend down and polish it himself and yeah so I just use it for storing gloves and toilet paper I've got a, a composting toilet out the back for everyone so just a little storage thing one I just found recently at the local rubbish shop. It's probably a homemade one guys, possibly homemade, but it's beautiful, old, and this little section here needs to be repaired. So it's just a homemade one, but it's a beautiful old shoe polish box made out of uh, jarra plywood, pine. But I like it. The only problem is I've got nowhere to put them. It's running out of space. I've got relics everywhere. Alright guys, so I'll open up this uh, pair of Ari Ariat boots. They came from ellingtons.com.au. I'll put the links below in the description box, guys. I think about 320 bucks. I might have it. I actually think I might have got them a lot cheaper, maybe 250. The invoice will be here. <laughs> to God guys are gonna fit me so Ariat work that's not the name of the boot it's actually called a Ariat distressed brown roper toe so it's a soft toe I don't I don't like steel cut boots guys so Ariat distressed brown a roper and I don't like steel cut boots I have got a nice pair of steel caps Ariat brand but they um, I ordered them and they were just one size too small guys and they're still cut. Alright, here's the invoice, I think. No. Alright, so those things, what are they called? The inner soles. Beautiful boots. So 
look at that guys, that is beautiful. Let's hope they fit, that's exactly what I wanted. The worst thing about ordering on the internet guys is you just really don't know what you're going to get. Let's hope they fit. There's a heel, so it's a rubber bottom, sole, heel. It's so American made. And these are just going to be basically just work boots for scrapping guys, relic hunting. And they should last me three or four years. I mean, these ones here I'll still wear until they're completely stocked. Probably for another year or so. But yeah, beautiful. Pretty happy with them, but will they fit, guys? That's the thing. Will they fit? I hope so. Same as the ones I've got. Yeah, they are exactly the same. So, there you are. Exactly the same boots, guys. These ones here are about three or four years old. Alright, so we'll try. leather, nothing better than the smell of brand new boots and shoe polish. Mmm, beautiful. Alright, we'll put the, the inner soles in. about the noise of the wind chime everyone but I actually took two down and it was really loud I've got three there so we just put the inner soles in and the big test is will they fit alright we'll get up guys okay so These are my little Ugg boot slippers, what I like to wear. They cost me about a hundred dollars from uggdirect.com.au. Uggdirect. I'll put the link in the description box, everyone. All right, see you guys. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. They fit perfectly love these boots I just love the high leather protect you from snakes uh, grass seeds everything you know just protect your whole ankle area and it's just uh, an investment you know I mean if I wasn't scrapping guys you know a pair of boots like this would last a whole lifetime but because I'm scrapping and doing a lot of walking they only last you know three or four years but as I say I think Ariat uh, might even be better than the RM Williams. But uh, with the, just also guys, before I forget, the RM Williams Stockyard, you can't get these ones anymore. So Stockyard, you can't get them anymore, guys, unfortunately. So, beautiful. They fit absolutely perfect, guys. So that's it guys, 
and we'll polish up these boots. Keep on wearing them. So with uh, polishing the boots, hope you can hear me from the wind, guys. It's rather, rather windy. Uh, the door's opening in the wind. So this is the type of brush you use for taking the polish off and shining it. Alright, just like this. And I'm left-handed, guys, but I'm also ambidextrous. My right arm is my strongest. My, I just right with my left. I do everything else with my right throw. And you see them coming up nice and shiny. We all love our mums, everyone, so my mum used to get really upset if my boots weren't polished whenever I used to visit her. So I also do it in memory of my beautiful mum, you know. So you can do that for hours guys, just go like this and it'll get shinier and shinier. And also, so once, if you really want to make them more shiny, do what I've just done, then use the stocking. So basically that's it guys, that's just my boots polished up for tomorrow. So there you are. And you can see all those deep scratches guys, that's all big scratches when I'm kicking metal uh, you know so it's protected my feet from a lot of serious cuts these boots and if you're wondering what that stuff is on the bottom guys it's just chicken poo it's me walking in my chicken pen but as I say I don't walk inside the house with uh, my boots like this and I use a brush like this guys that's why I love finding normal big beautiful brushes like this as well to clean the bottom of the sole you can use a dust brush to polish them even better so this will make them more shinier nice dust brush got heaps and heaps of these beautiful brushes guys love just I'm obsessed with brushes I'm looking up there and I can see them all sitting up there in buckets broom broom heads and buckets uh, beautiful dust brushes plastic dust brushes old beautiful wooden ones So that's it guys for tomorrow so i really really appreciate you watching so if you want to watch me do the live video tomorrow at the wage and care and share join me about nine o'clock tomorrow morning uh west australian time so i'm doing all this early guys i've got to get up early tomorrow to do this video i want to get there early make sure everyone knows what i'm doing i've got permission from everyone who i'm going to interview i'll be interviewing quite a few people and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Hopefully, hopefully no one's going to interfere with it. But who knows? Um, so I think that's about it, everyone. And we'll just show you a few little things. And just right here's another little uh, boot cleaning thing I found. Um, I actually attached it to that nice piece of wood. And right up here.
uh, dust brushes and stuff what come in handy and that's it guys so it's a cold cool windy day and uh, this is just my front veranda basically so a bit of chaos but it's all organized chaos everyone all right guys i really really appreciate you watching and look at this beautiful shell i found the other day at a rubbish dump unfortunately it's bloody broken chip there but just a beautiful old shell for aboriginal people all right really really appreciate you watching guys so we'll continue going and uh that's my beautiful boots all done and got to be happy guys really really happy all right see you guys thanks for watching i wasn't sure if i was facing the camera the right way see ya thanks for watching guys bye and girls